What's going on everyone and welcome back to Too Much Tech and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to properly set up the drop Corinna with your combination of your key binds as well as your LED lighting and actually how to install that firmware because a lot of you guys probably went onto the drop online configurator and you're like all right I just did all this work uh, nothing is happening because there are a few additional steps and it is kind of complicated so I want to make this video to make it easier for you guys and also to uh, selfishly have a place to reference when I forget how to do it because that has happened a few times already in uh, my almost three months of owning this keyboard so first thing you're gonna want to do is make sure you have a folder on your desktop that has you know whatever you want to name the folder so that later when we go into the command prop it knows where you're gonna access everything and this is gonna be the folder where you're gonna want to collect a few things so first couple things you're gonna need is this applet dash MD flash dot bin and the MD loader for Windows so to get the MD loader I'll leave a link in the description below you're gonna want to scroll down click on this link and download the applet flash and the MD loader. Next, we're gonna go to the drop configurator. I'll leave a link to this in the description below as well. And you're gonna wanna make your own configuration. You might have to start with whatever keyboard you have because this tutorial should work for both the all the control as well as the Karina that we're using today. Inside here, if you wanna customize your key binds, you're just gonna wanna click on whatever key you wanna change and whatever key you wanna change it to or commander or whatever the case is. You do have more than one layer as well. Personally, I put my function key all the way to the bottom right of the keyboard just because I find that this is really easy to use the arrow keys on the next layer. So function key is a modifier one and then that will lead me to layer one with all the rest of my controls for my LEDs and media controls and all that good stuff. So now that you've properly set up all your commands how you want them to be, just be sure to remember where your function key is originally and where this DFU mode is as well because you're going to have to hit function and get into that DFU mode to actually install the firmware in the next little bit here. I also want to change the color of my LED so I'm going to double click for the top layer and then I'm going to want to change that to white. It's already white so that's fine. Then I'm going to double click the bottom layer and add new color and we're going to make this let's make it like a like a light teal that might look cool right so after you've properly set up your LEDs it's very basic the controls like there's nothing really crazy that you can do everything is extremely basic I'm gonna hit compile and download here and then I'm gonna click save as and I'm gonna save it to that Karina folder that we have on our desktop next personally I just like to make a text file in the same folder you just go to new and make a text document real quick double click this and then I will have this line of text for you to copy in the description below as well. But what we're going to do is click this, rename, select all, and copy. And then we're going to replace where it says file name here. And then you're going to want to make sure that there's no period at the end of restart or else it just won't work. Then we're going to hit Windows and R to pull up the command prompt. Now that we're in the command prompt, I'm going to go ahead and copy CD space period slash desktop slash the name of your folder here hit enter and now that we're in this folder we're going to copy that line of text that we just made because that is going to lead us to our configuration file enter again so now it's scanning for the device so i'm going to hit function and press and hold b for a second and i'm going to let it go that's going to put it in that dfu mode and then you'll hear your computer make a couple noises And boom, just like that, your keyboard has now been flashed with your new commands and whatnot. Oh, you know what? The LEDs, I did it backwards. I only did it on this first layer here. So I'm going to reset this actually. And then we go back to layer zero. That's where you want your LED effects to be layer zero because this is going to be your uh, your standard layer. So let's do that and that compile and download again i'll show you guys how quick and easy this is because once you kind of get that process down which is not really too hard it just takes a little bit to uh do it the first time and after you've made like that file that you got to copy it's actually pretty easy and you can do it more than once until you get your uh you know the configuration that you really want so i'm going to save replace that go right back to the command prompt again enter scanning press and hold And done boom now I have correctly <laughs> got my LED lights the way that I want them and all of my profiles uh, in terms of like the uh, the function row 
and everything, the modifiers and whatnot are all saved. It's pretty easy-ish. Hopefully this guide made this whole process easy because trying to figure this out, I kid you not, before I found the correct way to do it, which Drop really doesn't have like a tutorial on how to do this. So I had to make it for you guys and for myself. So I really hope that this helped you guys out. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new as well. We got a ton more keyboard content coming this year. And uh, I really hope that this small tutorial helped you guys out quite a bit. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.